Hello people, welcome back again to another VGC video. We're gonna continue this because it's a fun meta, honestly. So, uh, Nino, Pokebrace, Nino Pokebros hosted the tournament. These are also uh, YouTubers slash streamers, so give, check them, definitely check them out. They bring a lot of VGC content, well, Pokemon content, because they've played Unite as well. But they hosted a tournament, and one of my Belgian friends was participating as well, uh, called Drep Mambo, and he's got four plays uh, with his team. And honestly, I just wanted to try the team. I think the team is really interesting. Uh, we can see the rental here as well. It is quite good. Like, it's looking... It has Chimpao, and I really have been wanting to use Chimpao as well. Uh, it has Arcanine, which I also like, and of course Tarantar, which is... One of my faves, because, uh, yeah, I got a lot of these plushies, like T-Tar. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, here it is. That's rental teams. Okay, uh, let's see. We see a Trick Room option with Mimikyu perhaps as well. Because Fake Out plus Mimikyu does uh, give that. Volcarona is actually looking kind of nice, certainly with Reach Powder being able to tank some hits. Hmm. I do like T-Tar as well. We have Arcanine for possible Intimidate as well. Hmm. But Dragonite is certainly a Pokemon that I want to bring myself. Because it is banded, very powerful as such. Oh, this is a rough one, actually. Okay, we could Heat Wave into... Sitar is Life Orb. I really want to bring you. Honestly, I do want to bring you too. Because in our focus as well. Garganacle is fun with like iron defense body press. It's quite special defensive. Uh, and I have Terra Go so I don't get close combated by the two fighting types. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do go with these four. Uh, Volcano also getting Tailwind, which is also very nice to have. Like, Tailwind, Reach Powder, good support, honestly. And then just Heat Waste, Bug Bus. And see, achieve my trainer card. Alright, support Grandma in the back. And we got Chi Yu plus Mimic Yu. So, my Spadef is dropping. Uh, Mimic Yu could Shadow Sneak into KOing me. Uh, I could reach powder just to make sure that the sh Oh wait, I'm inner focus, not thingy. Um, I'm not gonna tailwind just cause... I think I just want to heat wave. Just have a little bit of chip. And while I could for go for extreme speed. Cause max dark. Shiyu isn't that defense. Well, it has some bulk. The issue is... Ah, oh, this is really rough. I think I'm just gonna E-speed. Just raw E-speed. Okay, even with the band, I should have terrorized. Uh, ooh, avoid it. Nice avoid of you, uh, Dragonite. Okay, Shiyu is down. I think the Mimikyu might have gone for Trick Room. No, play rough. Ooh, and my Dragonite takes it. Okay, so I can still ban an E-Speed. I could switch as well to Arcanine. Intimidate this uh, Mimikyu, have a good switch in on that. Uh, but getting rid of Chi Yu is pretty important, I feel. 
So we still have Garganakal as well. We gotta look at an end game where Garganakal could possibly win with just Iron Defense Recover Body Press. Okay, so it's Chim Pao. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm gonna Heat Wave plus Arcanine just for the Intimidate. Chim Pao gets Sucker Punch, but I, uh, I'm not sure about. Icy Wind, actually. Uh, not Icy Wind. Ice Shard. They tend to run Sacred Sword, Sucker Punch, uh, Ice Spinner. Mine does, at least. Okay. Arcanine for the Intimidate. Okay, Terrestrialize. What are you Terrestrializing right now? The Chim Pao into another typing. Dark, just dark, okay. So no more ice weakness, but does have a fighting weakness, does have bug weakness, does have... Uh, and I do... Oh, Sucker Punch, yeah, that's definitely going on to my Volcarona. Okay, Flame Body maybe? No Flame Body, uh... Shadow Sneak, yeah. Whoa! The critical hit did not help there. Uh... Let's see, Shadow Sneak. I think I can E speed into uh, the Shin Power, just making sure that I can kill that. But Play Rough kills that as well. I've intimidated it, so it needs max dark. It does carry, uh, ca has the potential to carry Secret Sword, but with my defense, I should be able to take that. I think I can just Salt Cure from this turn. I'm playing Rough the Shin Power. Let's go for Secret Sword. Yeah, take that wonderfully. Woodhammer? I did not see that one coming. Oh my god. Alright, now suddenly this is uh, a bit more difficult. Going for Soul Cure. Okay, okay. I can E speed. Into a Shin Pao. I need to keep my Dragonite done because I can't switch in. Uh, yeah, my best play to this is if I can possibly recover, I will. But I will E speed the Shin Pao. Making sure that does. Mm, oh, honestly, maybe I should have focused on the Mimic because the Mimic can always E speed me. Can always, uh, can always Shadow Sneak me, and E speed doesn't hit that. Even though E speed is in higher priority bracket. Alright, there it goes. Yeah, Shadow Sneak. That does a kill. That's really nice for me. I am able to recover. Because my defense isn't also being dropped by uh, Chim Pao. Which is also very helpful there. Okay, Soul Cure. One more turn. Then that goes down. What's their last mom that they brought? It's Berloom. Alright. So I could terrestrialize this right now. Making sure that I don't die because of Wood Hammer at least. And I could Iron Defense just making sure... I survive and I just flare blitz into the balloon in all honesty. This is gonna Terra Ghost expecting to be grass moved or fighting moved. Ooh, I love I love the hats. I love the hats. The designs are so good. Yeah, mug punch. Boop. There we go. If you wait a bit with your terrestrialization, it could be used in very positive ways and the recall takes out the Mimikyu so that means I can Flare Blitz this Breloom and if it's Sash it will survive but I still have three Pokemon left it is not Sash so I'm able to take that that was a uh, Chim Power is really really scary if the Mimikyu went for another uh, Wood Hammer it would have definitely killed uh, my Garganacle yeah, lucky me. Lucky me.
All right, let's look for a new battle. Uh, okay, so we have the two fastest sweepers with an Among Us and Ryan. Oh, God, this is just offensive threats, the metagame, really. Uh, this is quite scary. Rock Slide does quite well with for T-Tar itself. Um, I am, but they're mainly all physical, so being able to flame body burn them would be nice. And Chim Pao doesn't do the worst, but I think I want to keep it as last for like Arcanine switches because I am also a very physical team, meaning they definitely will try to switch in. Honestly, Chim Pao, uh, I mean, my Garganeckle looking kind of clean again. Set up Spadev. Because the ability, Garganeckle. From status condition, half the damage from ghost type moves. If I can able to iron defense up, I think I'm in a pretty solid situation then. Titar to brief my spadef, possibly. And I do want to bring Chim Power, honestly. Or instead of Chim Power, I could bring Arcanine to lower attack. Yeah, let's bring Arcanine. Let's work around Garganagle this time around. Garganagle is such a good Pokemon. It being pure rock type as well is so fun seeing other rocks be do good and be good. Like, that's what I love to see. All right, we see Dragonite plus uh, Shin Pao. I am able to reach powder in this situation for like the secret sword. And I could just iron defense in all honesty. I'm rock, even extreme speed is faster. I don't mind. Unless they're goggles, do would they already wear goggles? No. People won't play goggles yet. I don't believe that. Okay, terrestrialized, normal probably. It is. Oof. So E speed is gonna hurt. Okay, goes for the protect. That's fine. Okay, rage powder. Oh, rage powder is higher priority. Huh. Oh! Still surviving. Burn? No burn, but I'm able to iron defense, and I am able to body press that Dragonite now. Or I could body press the... I can reach powder again. Uh, I can body press the Shin Pao, hopefully killing that, actually. Yes, yes, perfect, perfect. Since Shin Pao protected last turn, this is actually quite perfect. Sucker Punch, yep. Doesn't work, because I redirected it. Okay, it is Sash. But it, it is probably going to protect again. So I think I can just reach powder again. This time body press the Dragonite. I don't see an issue with that. I can bring in Arcanine at any given time and E-speed that as well. Go powerful reach powder. There goes Volcarona, unfortunately. Just body press and kill that. Shin Pao can still go for Secret Sword, which is still powerful, but I have my Arcanine able to. Extreme speed, and since the Chim Pao did protect last turn again, I'm able to do this. Uh, depending on what they switch it, I'm trying to think. Flutter main doesn't really work right now for them. Okay, okay. Oh, it is Flutter main, which is fine. 
Does get booster send booster energy, special attack, speed. All right, that's fine. I'm just gonna extreme speed this just to make sure that that is taken care of, and I think I can salt cure. There we go. All right, take care of Shin Pao. Goes for the dazzling gleam. Whoa! Still a lot of damage. Right, it was a crit on me, but that's what you get sometimes. Okay, depending on what they switch in, I might have to be able to recover. I could switch in Titar actually for the, like the Spadefries, but Dazzling Gleam is a fairy type move, and Tarantar is still being a dark type. We did bring Titar? Yeah, I did bring Titar, right? Okay, it's a Moongus. Okay, this endgame is actually looking pretty alright by me. Because uh, I do want to just be able to kill the... Because as soon as I kill that, I win. I don't, do not really care about the Moongus right now. Which is weird. Okay, Shadow Ball on the Arcanine. Should be able to take that since I'm a Salt Fest. Okay, we are able to take care of the Flutter Main. Darkenacle is a powerhouse! What do, what do you do against this? And that should be game. Darkenacle! Tur quickly turning into one of my face to use right now. Ah! Oh. And a rage quit, unfortunately. Hopefully my game does not crash. Okay, let's try this again. Last battle of the day. Hopefully we find someone without crashing. Opposing tree has been found, don't crash. Thank you. Okay, uh, Shin Pao. Tinkaton, fake out potential. Arcanine, and also the Delibird, the Iron Bundle. The Arcanine looking mighty fine again. But Gigaton Hammer is a move though. Uh, yeah. I think we're going to bring a Dragonite again. I want to bring Arcanacle this time. As well. I just bring uh, Shin Pao. Just for uh, Sash as well. And also, like, it is a strong Pokemon. I haven't been able to use it either. It's been a Garganacle life, baby. Okay, let's take a look. Support Grandma in the back. Alright, Iron Bundle Plus. I always forget the name of that thing. Quark, what? Speed, okay. I think... How fast is that thing? I actually don't know the rock type. How fast it is. I think I'm just gonna reach powder and terrestrialize extreme speed into the Delibird. Because uh, the Iron Bottom doesn't have that great defenses, if I recall correctly. Now, if it does terrestrialize it to, like, see a rock type or like a steel type i might be mighty mighty not in a good position <laughs> no no terrestrialize yet e speed bundle doesn't kill okay icy wind is fine expecting a rock move now Yep. Goodbye for Corona. I 
Uh, I am able to go Gar uh, Pao. I'll just be able to sucker punch this and just E speed for chip, I guess. It's not very effective, but oh, dang. Spiky shield. So this will hurt my Dragonite a bit. Okay, do manage to get out of a Sucker Punch. So the Iron Bundle is taken care of. Okay. Another Pokemon. It's Tinkaton. Tinkaton definitely has Fake Out, so I'm gonna protect. Machine Pao right now. Just gonna E speed. Uh, the other thing again. This might not be a great position for me actually. I expect Tinkaton to come in earlier, if anything. Good bring by them though. Toxic debris. That does happen. Gigaton Hammer. Yeah, no fake out. Sludge Wave. Doesn't affect the Tinkaton. Okay, this is interesting actually. I like this. I think I have to sucker a Secret Sword just for. Yeah, Seeker Sword is my best move, and I'll just extreme speed that. Just put another layer up, which is not great. Oh god, yeah. That again. Slowly but surely, my Dragonite is dying. <laughs> Still alive, though. Okay, that. Wow, that is good chip. Play rough, so Dragonite does go down. I still have my Sash intact as well, which is also very important to note. And with the toxic spikes up, my Garganacle is gonna get poisoned. Oh no, it's not because of the ability status effect. Okay, yeah. Uh, we, we can Secret Sword again. I don't know what that noise was. Uh. Probably Secret Sword again, and we just honestly we body press. I feel, but like it's so fast. Tinkaton is so fast. I need to take care of Tinkaton, but the same, yeah, I think I need to iron defense then. Hopefully, oh, I do get a high roll being able to kill that. That is very important to me. Sludge Wave. And I'm able to iron defense up. My Garganacle is in business, baby. Spray that salt. Last Mon also being Ching Pao. I'm gonna protect. Uh, and I'm gonna try body pressing the his Chim Pao because Secret Sword does ignore my defense race, uh, but I don't think it will kill me. Does quite a bit though. Single target sludge bomb. Do su manage to survive. Okay, and now we're just gonna play the Sucker Punch game, aren't we not? Okay, okay, okay. So, he Sucker Punches my Shin Pao. Oh god, this is gonna come down to his P-Tai. Yep. Uh, spiky Shield. So it's Shin Pao versus Shin Pao then. I am faster, I do manage to win the speed tie. Oh, yeah. If I doubled into him, it, 
I would have. I would have guaranteed, but like, it's so unsure with Spiky Shield. Like, if they're gonna protect or not. This is a very fun meta, man. I'm really a fan of this right now. Uh, so I am able to just do this. There we go. Good final battle, showing off Sheen Power still, why it's so good as well. And Garganakel, Garganakel, kinda, kinda nuts, man. Kinda good. Well, if you made it, managed to make it this far into the video, please, please leave a like, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff, and tell me what Pokemon to use next. I would love to hear your suggestions. Bye bye.